you fellow entertainment junkies, my name is Ruffalek, and today we are playing Payday 2, specifically Bank Heist Gold Solo Stealth. I absolutely love Payday 2, but I had a little bit of trouble coming up with how exactly I should go about presenting it. So the way I've decided to try out is that I'm going to do post-commentary and just talk about some tips and tricks that you can do during these missions, as well as show off some absolutely ridiculous stuff that this game does so first off we have this uh very lucky start um if the doors are open in the map there's a good chance that the guards will come out of the doors but if you open up them yourself there's a lot smaller chance that they'll actually come through so i got a really lucky start there with a guy right up in front so I'm just going to move the guy out of the way and then I'm going to immediately run to the back door and get that open so that it's a lot easier to move around. Also in pre-planning you can see that I bought a key card as well as the vault key. So I buy that because I don't want to just waste my time drilling a second door in case that the vault door is open. And on top of that I can save an ECM for the ATMs or in case of an emergency instead of wasting it on the security bay. So pretty much the way the strategy works in this map is you want to go in first and take out all four of the guards and then move into the vault afterwards. So in this specific one, I actually got a lucky vault, so I'm going to show off how you can actually go without killing the civilians and so that, you know, you just save some money and all that kind of stuff and it wastes a little time. It's uh, easier to just, you know, take down all of the civilians instead of bothering a keeping them alive just because you know it's a it's a little bit of money and once you get in the game further oh yeah this is a uh, the the cup got a, a little bit misplaced so i thought that was a little bit funny so a little bit of a tip there you can when in the cameras you can quickly quickly blast through them and you'll actually tag everyone just fine generally um if they're outside of the camera view however they're a bit harder to see another tip here that not everyone knows about is if you use the movement keys uh in this case i'd be using w and s you can zoom in and out of the camera too to allow you to have a better view radius it kind of the tagging system actually extends a little bit beyond your view but i believe it doesn't extend to the full radius of the zoom so if you zoom out it's a lot easier to do so there's not many locations on this map that it's actually safe to kill the guard so you got to be really careful with this especially in solo stealth if you're with a group it's a lot easier because if you have so much as a group of uh if even a group of three you can just take out the cameraman and then just ecm rush it uh, which is basically you plop down an ecm and then take out all of the guards and just handle everything before the ecm runs out and then you just answer the pagers at the end and it's nice and easy nice and quick too so it's a lot easier to go with groups, but you know, not everyone has not everyone has friends like me. I don't have any friends, so I have to do everything solo. But it's a, it's a lot of fun to do it solo. So that back room there is actually a nice safe area. A lot of the guards and the manager will walk through it, so you have to be careful about the manager, um, since he can't be tagged. So it's a little bit harder to notice him, and he's a bit easier to forget about. But he also has a tendency to walk a lot of to a lot of areas that are easier to take him down such as you'll walk to the roof and <laughs> a little bit of a a little bit of a cheeky uh, kill there i um Sorry. i did not expect him there and then all of a sudden it's like oh look guarding my face and he's down nice and easily so i take care of this guy and then i continue so at this point i have killed all four guards um on top of that i will I want to point out just right now that um, uh, you might notice if you play this game that my HUD looks a little bit different than the normal HUD. I use a mod called Wolf HUD. It's perfectly fine to use. It's not considered cheating. It doesn't do any actual cheats. All it does is give you this HUD that is very wonderful and is a lot easier to use and it's just it's just overall better and allows you to have a nicer experience because it tells you the information that you need to know so at this point i found the manager so i'm going to run in and take him down um he was giving me a little bit of trouble on detection civilians have a very weird detection they don't notice you that easily you can generally stand in front of them quite a bit and you're gonna throughout this video i'll show off some like kind of cheeky moments that you can do with the civs first of all um you can uh i'll show off that you don't need to kill any of the civs here even though there is a civ looking directly at the safe he actually won't notice the drill 
as long as it's silent. So it's actually kind of funny that you can do this. But um, also on top of that, I realized a little bit too late that uh, I didn't have any more cable ties because I had removed my additional cable ties. It's usually one of my most used skill, but I removed my additional cable ties so I wasn't able to actually take care of them down. So at this point, it's now just a waiting game. Once I've got the drill up, it's just sit here and wait until it's open, which is uh, quite a bit of time. So I sped it up so that we don't have to watch it for too long but you can see that even though this guy is detecting it somewhat he won't actually ever fully detect it and this is a lot of case with a lot of different sieves even though they seem like they're going to be detecting something they actually won't so i'm just trying to occupy my time here and then the safe opens so in this case i actually got quite lucky the gate is already open this gate can be closed in which case you have to either drill it or you have to use the key like i bought and the keys are generally faster but sometimes they're not it's all random chance so i'm just ducking in and out so that i don't get caught by him but you can see that the detection rate is actually really slow even while holding a bag of gold it's still quite slow so the bags will give you a lot higher detection rate and uh, but it's still easy to just walk in and out as you can see here i'm just avoiding the one guy on the street and it's just grab the bags and then leave and that is the entire mission so nice and easy mission this is one of the easiest stealth missions it's not the easiest one in my opinion but it's probably the second easiest i've done enough times on this so here I'm just showing off the uh, amount that you'll get if you do this on one down difficulty, which is the hardest difficulty in the game. So it's a decent amount of cash, decent amount of XP. That's what you want, really, for such a simple mission. And yeah, that's about it. So now I'm going to go over some footage from a couple of failed attempts that I had, but that had some interesting little tidbits. So first of all, here's a little tip that there's a random chance that this guy will show up and it's easy to take him out, but you got to be wary of him because he'll wander the map in a different pattern than the sieves on the outside. So he can wander inside the, he can wander inside the, the bank and all this other Follow stuff me. and he's a little bit more annoying if you don't catch him early on so you just want to be wary of him so this next clip is well one of the best Over. moments i have to say so the ai is absolutely My colleague was asking around. blind Actually, in this game so there's also We're this fine, little though. bug which i've noticed recently where someone will constantly detect you but they don't actually detect you i'm not sure if this is a bug or if well it is obviously bugs, right. but i have no idea if you can actually do this easily so another thing i wanted to show off is you can see back there there's a guy that's that had a question mark that was nowhere to be seen he's actually detecting the security room guy and you'll actually see later that he can be detected so i wanted to show off this Sorry. little spot too well, if you shoot a guy here normally you can easily uh dispatch of him without the sieves noticing but uh in that case a guard was watching and it was over so here you can see that the these guys can actually detect the security well, camera guy yeah, but it's control. kind of random so in that case i failed and in the previous case i failed as well okay. so here i am now going to show off doing this the more normal way i call it at least the more normal way that i do it so in this case, I decided to stay in civilian mode just to grab the key card quickly because I started at the front of the bank. So it's easier to just run in and grab the key card. And normally I would go and pick lock the door right behind me, but there was a guard there at that instant. So I needed to just, uh, I needed to go outside again and instead of lock picking it. So uh, you might notice that I didn't take down those two guys outside this time. 
Those guys actually really well, don't matter. They don't notice the a lot if you Hoist take people night. down on the inside and stuff like that. And if you make a lot of noise, they won't notice it. So you could just leave them out there, just nice and easy. Um, the guy that's in here, uh, like the previous place, security guards that walk by it will notice him. And it doesn't come into play here, but it would have come into play if I didn't uh, take care of a guard that will show up later. Now I'm gonna. J now I finally have the chance to go back here and take out the door. Now that the camera's down, so I can just easily deal with this without putting a camera loop on the camera. So it's easier to just do this. So you don't really need a lot of skills to do this mission easily. Um, a lot of skills can help, but they're not exactly amazing. The biggest skills that can help is either getting. Uh, can uh, being able to pick up stuff in concealment so you can easily get the key card or just picking it up even without that so in this case um i was gonna shoot this guy but there's another there's a couple other guys just walking through so if i tried to do anything they'd notice so this guy because sibs don't notice things too much he doesn't notice me and i could just sit in the corner if a guard had walked through there he will notice me um in this case it down was just the, the manager so i took get him down, down nice and easy um, as I was saying before, the skills that would provide some good use is either picking up stuff in concealment or just having an ECM that can open up doors so that you can get in the security room because that's the biggest issue on this map is taking down the cameras and then the most of the rest of the map is just a waiting game. So in this case, this guy comes through, he'll notice me, but I take him out nice and quick. Um, I should talk a little uh, bit about my guns, drums. I feel the guns don't necessarily matter as long as you have stealth, but the biggest thing I find is my locomotive uh, shotgun is probably the most useful gun I have ever gotten in stealth, and I've been using it since the beginning of the game. The biggest thing about the locomotive that separates it from just like a pistol or anything else is that because, it, well, if you get a headshot or close to a headshot, or if you shoot in certain parts of the body, it actually has knockback. So as you saw there, when I took a shot at the guy, he actually flew into the room. So you can do nice little cheeky kills uh, and shoot them through doorways and stuff like that. So in this case, I wanted to take him down. Unfortunately, I didn't get the headshot, so he didn't launch nope, into the corner. But because sieves are blind, Absolutely it's easy fine. enough to just take him down here anyways. So I just get him down, and there's only one guard left. So it's a lot easier than it would be. And in fact, it would be pretty much a perfect situation where i could just do the same thing as last time but i want to show off kind of the strategy that you do if you wanted to take down sieves because there's a little bit of key notices to take in per, uh, to take in mind mostly that you want to be careful of the sieves in the back and the sieves in the tellers those are the two most important ones because the tellers especially because if you look uh, uh underneath the teller desk there's a button there and if the tellers are no, uh, detect anything wrong, they will hit that button almost instantly and it will be out of stealth. So you wanna be very careful. There is also a button in the back that you wanna be very careful of. So there's generally, you don't have to be too specific in your orders, but generally you wanna get the tellers down quite quickly before anything goes down. And then you wanna take out the guys in the back. And I'll show you how you can even take out the tellers without being detected which is quite funny to watch because it's it's just they, they just disappear and no one questions it now um i'm going to follow this guard in the back just waiting for an opportunity to Guards take them out alert. so they can walk along the back here so you want to keep an eye on them and you want to be close near them because they will walk all the way along the back generally really fast um, they Careful, sometimes guard. they'll go through the door, but it's Look very out, rare that they'll actually guard, do that. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Guard, guys, but the, uh, the best chance of actually taking them down is guard, through this back room here that I'll take them down in now. So that's the best spot to take them down because uh, generally there won't be hey. other people. Yeah. If there's other guards awake oh, and there's, the other, or, if there's other guards alive and other in the bank manager, they can come through here too. And that's pretty much your only major risk. The best cases is that they'll walk along the back area behind the tellers or they'll walk uh, outside and, and then it's a lot more isolated. 
So now I'm going to show off that you can actually take out the tellers. Um, I got a little unfortunate luck, but usually if you shoot along the bottom half of their legs, they will, it'll kind of sweep them off their feet and they'll instantly drop. Unfortunately, the lady there did have a longer death animation, so she kind of stayed alive for a bit longer. But they still went down quick enough that no one in the bank actually noticed. So now there's a whole bunch of people in line and the tellers just disappeared and they don't question it. So right now it would be easy to just get this done. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to show off my little bit of sim, sim uh, handling. So you can take out all the sieves. I find it easier now just to kill all the sieves. I don't care about the money anymore because I've got too much of it. But if you are worried about money, there is a skill that you can get in the um, in the the first tree. I can't remember it now. The mastermind tree, I think it was. I, I can't remember. I can't remember now. Uh, I'd have to go check it out. But it's Stockholm syndrome that allows you to uh, if you have a loud weapon. So I'd suggest taking either the um, I'd suggest taking the locomotive or any silent sh secondary shotgun and then taking a loud assault rifle uh, primary and Stockholm syndrome will being people it will get people down on the ground by making noise so you just take a shot every so often and if you have something like wolf HUD, it makes it all that much more easier because it tells you when they are down and when they are in fact up so at this point I am trying to figure out where the other two sieves are, forgetting that uh, they left the two guys in the back. So I just run around a little bit, trying to find the two sieves that are wandering the streets. So there's usually only a couple sieves, but there can be a variable number of sieves. So I finally figure out that these two are here. So I just tie them up because no point. No point uh, taking them down when I have a lot of ties left. So now I go and do the ATMs. And this is why you want to save the ECMs, is that you can get these ATMs. This is another benefit of having sieves, uh, having all the sieves taken care of instead of doing just the safe vault thing. If you, if you take care of them, you can walk through the bank quite easily and you can get the gold into your van quite easily. And it's just, it's overall easier to do it that way just because there's less to worry about. So now at this point, I just move the gold to the van and that's about it for this mission. But uh, that's the general strategy that you want to take if you're doing this mission. I'll do a more improved guide that actually goes over everything you want to do. But here is just my take on solo stealth of this mission. Um, if you have a better strategies or anything else you want to add to this, or if you have any comments about how this video, how I did this video, please let me know. I want to know if this is a decent way of going about recording these videos and if it is i'll continue doing them i hope you enjoyed and uh, thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day time to get out of dodge let's split that loot at the safe house and take the weekend off